Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. It's locked. It's locked. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Sounds good. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Have fun. It's locked. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. And what did you tell her? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multimillionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me any time. I'll let him know. Thank you. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust, which I hadn't, by the way. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry code should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Will Nancy?
Nancy Drew, please report to the security office. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh? I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red-tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. It's locked. It's locked. That looks tight enough. It's been red tagged. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. It's locked. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. 